excuse me, I have to get my ticket. The ticket to Milwaukee, please. One way? Yes. I wish they'd stop that thing. That's coming from the home for the criminally insane. One of them escaped, you know. Yes, I heard. Lots of people get nervous having one of those places in town. But I find it interesting. Please, my ticket. The things I hear in this waiting room. What the people from up there talk about, I've learned a lot. Say, do you know what a split personality is, mister? I'll bet you don't. It's a person who's two different people and neither one knows the other exists. Mic change, please. Oh, yeah, sure. Did you ever hear anything like that? Yes, I heard of it. Did you hear about that patient escaping? Yeah, I heard. I stopped for coffee down the street and the waitress told me. Uh. I'm a perfectly reasonable man, I assure you. I know the chance that he's a homicidal maniac, that he'd simply kill you without reason is remote. But besides, he wouldn't come here, why would he? Yet that thing gives me the chills. Isn't that odd? Yeah, it sure is. Weighty stuff, huh? Yes. Is his description out? Huh? The man that got away, they know what he looks like? I don't know. I don't think so, yet. Uh, they might have a hard time catching him, you know that? Lots of these fellas are smart. Plenty smart. Smarter than you. Maybe. Or me. Yes, I suppose they are. They just <clears throat> go off sometimes. Get excited, you know. Yes, I, I suppose they do. Don't blame them for trying to get out of there. You don't? Of course, a man gets out of a place like that. He's got it on other people. If he kills anyone, I mean. He can kill anyone he wants to. And even though they catch him, they can't do anything to him. Except put him back in. You see? Yes, that, that's true, isn't it? No. No, it can't be. I knew there was something. His clothes, they're all muddy and torn. He must have been in a fight. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. I have to control myself. Mustn't let him suspect. He killed someone to get his clothes and then came here. Of course. A little station where he could get away. The bookkeeper. Why, they're neat. Whoever saw a bookkeeper like me. Thank you. Now wait, wait. I've got to calm down. But this is crazy. He's probably a perfectly ordinary fellow. Just that his clothes are... Oh, probably some perfectly normal explanation. Have you been with sex pain very long? Oh yeah, a long time. A long time. And you're a bookkeeper? That's right, why? Nothing, nothing, I just, well, nothing. I have to get out of here. Can't take a chance. Where are you going? Uh, well, just to get some gum. Would you like some? No. He's the one. I know he is. Those clothes. And his eyes. And Jones. Just the name he chose. 
and the way he keeps putting his hand to his head. Probably some pressure. And when it gets too bad, he... Oh, mister, is the 7.55 on time? Yep. Yeah, but I... But... He suspects me. He thinks I know. I can't leave. He might kill me if I try. Try to act natural. Better sit down. Thirsty. Excuse me. <laughs> City fellas just can't drink with country fellas. That's all that's to it. All that clean living and fresh air, they're just too much for us. Sure is a strange little beast. I wonder why he took the briefcase in here. Maybe he's got something valuable in it. Passes slow, huh? Yes. Funny looking little monkey. Guess he thinks I'm funny looking too. Can't figure me out. Oh, I wish I had a drink. 
I could go uptown and get one, I guess. I got the time. But I'm a victim of inertia. I would go uptown and get myself a drink, but I haven't got the inertia. I gotta have some more water.